Hello, my name's Adrian. I work for Proactive AV and in this video I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to make a page to put onto your signage screens using the BenQ XSign Designer software. This is called the XSign Designer. Once this is downloaded we can then open it. New project and then I'm going to call it Corporate Demo and then if I click on confirm it takes us into the creation page. So here we've got different tools, these are the simple tools, these are all the widgets which I'll show you in a minute and then this is where the backgrounds are. So I would suggest that you use a background when you first start using Designer until you get a confidence up. Let's choose this one and now I can start populating it with my own information. So first of all I'll double click on this to select it, then double click again to get into it, highlight the text, delete that and then I can put my own text in. So I'm now going to change it to our corporate colours. So the text itself I will do that as a blue, confirm. And then the background I'll do that as our green, click on confirm again. I'm just going to delete this down here because it's not needed. And then the text I've just done, I'm just going to reshape it. So next this background I'm going to get rid of and then I'm going to try and find an image. So let's choose this one and bring the image in. So let's bring this forwards, so there we go, and now it's in front of it. And then I'm just going to pull this to the size of the page. Now let's click on this image. Delete it, I'm going to go into my widgets and now I'm going to do image slideshow. So I'll just resize the box, put it to where I want it to be, and I'm going to click on the plus in the corner and then I'm going to go into my files and find the images that I want to populate the box with. So let's just choose all of these images, click on open, they all drop into that box and then if I go down to the right and scroll down, I'm now going to have the pictures fit and then I want each one to transition via cube and I'm going to do that to all images. So this second box, let's get rid of that. This one is going to be a video. So again, I'm just going to resize it quickly and click on the plus and then I need to find my video that I want to put in there. So that one, in comes the video. So the video is telling me that it's one minute 22 seconds. So this image, we're going to make this into a QR code. So if I put a website address in there, now I'll delete this image, grab the QR code, quick resize, we're good to go. So now if I want to do an RSS news feed, I open it up, I'm now going to paste the address into the RSS link, click confirm, and then resize it to the size I want. I'm going to take this all the way across the page because I'm going to get this to scroll across the page. So I want the title and the description. I'm going to click on here and do scrolling text. I want it to update every 30 minutes and I'm going to have two different stories going at the same time. So quickly I'm going to add a YouTube video now. So paste the address in and then click on confirm. And then let's put this up here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So now let's add the weather. And then if I go over to the right, I need to do this manually. So I'm going to put in Huntingdon, because that's where we're based. And let's just add a clock in as well. And then I'm just going to change to green, to confirm. I think I might make that a little bit bigger. And then if I click on preview, I can have a quick look what it's going to look like. So obviously I've done this very fast, but it gives you an idea. So once you've created the page and saved it, the next thing you need to do is go onto your browser and we're going to go into the BenQ portal. I'm going to log in and then from here I'm going to go to XSign. And as you can see, I've got two screens here, so I'm going to choose this screen, click on schedule and then I'm going to schedule this in tomorrow. So schedule name, I'll call it Corp Demo. And then we're going to choose the page that I've just created, which is this one. Click Confirm. 
Now I can actually choose a time, but I'm just going to click on all day and then submit. And then within less than a minute, that page should now be showing on the screen. Simple as that. So why would you need this? Well, good question. I would suggest that obviously you can have it in your reception area so when customers come into your office or building, they can see information. But then you've also got concepts like when you're doing trade shows or you're doing traveling shows. In your business itself, if you've got different departments, you can have a screen in each different department. So therefore, the possibilities are endless. And as you've just seen, it's very quick and simple to create.